Bofa, everybody's going to look at this right away and think, that's a more aerodynamic Bofa. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, it takes it back to the academy days where, uh, you know, had short hair, hot Arizona weather, you know, feels good. <laughs> So you've got, uh, obviously going to have a really different lineup and probably different tactics than we've seen going into LAFC, given everything that's happened here. How, as an attacking player, you know, how much does this change your mindset going into the game? You're going to have defensive responsibilities. It's, it's going to have to be a little different. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I approach it as any other game, you know, as an opportunity to get better as a player and take advantage of getting minutes. You know, I think this goes out to the rest of the boys that are going to get opportunities this game. But it's a huge game against a really good team. And we respect the rival and whoever it is, LAFC, top team, Atlanta, whoever, you know, we're going there and trying to fight 90 minutes. It doesn't matter who it is. We just kind of try to go out there and get a result. If it's not the three points we want, we go out with one point. And, you know, I think that plays into getting opportunity for us to be able to take advantage. They built a, uh, a new stadium, a club, and I don't know if you can build tradition that quick, but you watch those games on TV and those supporters, I mean, nobody comes in neutral colors. It seems like everybody has a flag. It seems like they're making a ton of noise. Have they built a really good home field advantage right away? Yeah, and we obviously experienced that in the playoffs. And, you know, you can tell it's a different culture when they start throwing, you know, stuff at Nick Ramondo, and, and it's kind of crazy that they have, like, a European base set, you know, and... Like, again, we, we knocked them out of the playoffs. You know, they have something to play for. You know, they're, they're going to come out, you know, wanting to beat us. And, you know, at the end of the day, we, we, what we have to do is just overmatch their intensity. If we don't match it, we're not going to be able to keep up. We just need to match the intensity or overmatch it to be able to have a good game. And that's all it takes, 100% from everyone, everyone focus, and no giveaways, which well, that's what we need. Do you guys take confidence from having gotten the result at Houston in these first 30 minutes against D.C. where you guys are pretty even? Yeah, I thought the first 30 minutes of D.C. were great. You know, I think if you guys get that Demir chance, you know, where, where he missed the, the shot, you know, if we score that, it's 1-0. Maybe perhaps the game changes. But, you know, it sucks because we get based off the 5-0 and the 9 men. We wish we stayed with 11 v. 11. That's just not how it is. Soccer is, you know, you know, sometimes you feel like you didn't foul the person and, and, and you get VAR that gives you a red card. You know, we want to stay with 11 men. You know, we wish there was a 11 v. 11 game. Something different could have happened. Maybe it would have been with with a 0-0 against D.C., something different. But that's just how it is. And, and, and we turn the page on that game and get the best out of that and, and, and look forward to this game that's going to be a really, really good game. With the way that game transpired, how quickly do you think you were able individually and as a team to get over it knowing that so many weird things happened? Yeah, obviously, like I said, a lot of things can happen in one game of soccer, whether if it's two red cards or injuries. And, 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 the, and the thing here is, how do we turn the page as quick as possible to be able to, to, to you know, be a better team against LAFC? You know, we can't just dwell on the, the mistakes we had against DC, which we didn't really have mistakes. They were just red cards that kind of caused the game. And, and, and it's tough. You guys ask yourself, nine players against 11, mm -hmm. and they get momentum, they're at home. How, do, how are we supposed to go there and kind of get a goal out of that? You know, it's really tough. So mm -hmm. that's just how it is. It's super tough going away from home, trying to get points like that when, when we have two, two men down. So we just got to look forward to this LAFC game, 11 v. 11, and, and, and punish them. Whenever we get the opportunity, bury the goals and, and, and celebrate like no other. And it's a good opportunity to do it.